So, where is this? I thought, oh, that's quite loud. The second I stepped off the train that's into the really city loud. of Broadville, ah. I could feel the weight of its melancholy in the air. Even the drizzle that clung to the city's grimy cobblestones felt a shade darker than your everyday downpour. Vaudeville was a city of high stakes and low morals where vice and virtue danced a wicked waltz. Street lamps flickering like burnt As out I was stars saying. were the only guide through the maze of rain we'd have another go at this. and whispering shadows. My name's Martini. We tried it a while ago. Detective, troubleshooter, and a lousy sucker for hard luck But it's stories. had quite a few updates this since. This wasn't my first circus, but this act and was a And I've had a few special. updates since. Three murders, no leads, and a city on the brink of bedlam. The victims were as different as chalk and cheese. Each a symbol of the city's vibrant veneer. A young dancer who moved like poetry in motion. Her life cut short mid-pirouette. The socialite. A woman who knew the city's pulse better than anyone else. And then there was the businessman, the embodiment of vaudeville's promises of progress, snuffed out like a candle in the wind. The usual peace in vaudeville was off kilter, replaced by the discordant notes of fear and suspicion. Strangers viewed each other through wary eyes, neighbors turned to strangers, and every shadow seemed to hold a secret. The once vibrant city had become a stage, the curtain drawn on a grim play of mystery and murder. In a city without harmony, the police chief was the conductor trying to keep the orchestra in tune. Gretzky was his name, a seasoned cop with a granite jaw and a heart that had seen better days. There was a stark tension, a raw fear that danced like St. Elmo's fire in his eyes. Whatever was happening in vaudeville had Gretzky out of his depth, and that was a sight I'd never thought I'd see. If anyone could make sense of this twisted tale, it would be him. I'd better head to the police station and have a chat with Gretzky for starters. Okie dokie. So, for people who don't know, this is, um, all the characters are AI. Um, uh, can't change the volume. Story mode. So, do I have the options here? No. So, it should listen to what I say. Hello, Gretzky. Welcome, detective. It pains me to admit, but we really need your help this time. What's the problem? Oh. What is the problem? You know I don't have much time left before I retire. I just want to solve this case and finally enjoy my retirement. What's the case? The murder of Mayor Saxabar. It's been three days and we've found nothing. No leads, no witnesses, no motive. Nothing. Where was he found? His body was found in the morning outside Pascal's grocery shop. How was he killed? Thaxabar was not the first victim. There were three others. Maria Jansen, Nicola Grossman, and Haley Greenwood. Tell me about their murders. I am not able to answer your question. What do we know about Maria Jansen? Ugh, Maria Jansen. 
a spoiled brat. B was a socialite who thought she could do whatever she wanted and get away with it. How did she die? B was found covered in blood outside her apartment in central Vaudeville. What about Nicola Grossman? Nicola was a businessman. He was known throughout the finance world. He was found dead in an alleyway near Wall Street. How did he die? He was found with a broken neck. I don't know, Deathclaw. Um, potentially. What about Haley Greenwood? Haley was a sweetheart, a young, beautiful dancer who wanted to see the world. Her body was found in an alley behind Cabane Violet, a nightclub in central Vaudeville. How did she die? She was strangled. So they all died in different ways. Exactly. How is that even possible? Do we know it's the same person? Why? Do we think one person killed them all? That's absurd. How could one person kill three people in such different ways? <laughs> so... You don't think the murders are linked? No, I don't think there's any connection between them at all. Is there a connection to the mayor's murder? No, I don't think so. So we have four completely different murder investigations. Yes. Okay. Yes, and they're all in my hands now. I will solve them. I'll take care of them. Oh. You. Ha. Huh. So what should I do? Welcome, detective. It pains me to admit, but we really need your help this time. What help can I give you? We need someone to investigate the mayor's murder. Just the mayor's murder? Or all the other murders as well? All of them. Okay. I will investigate all four murders. Good luck, detective. Where should I start? Start at the beginning. Talk to the victims' families. Where will I find the victims' families? In the city. Thank you, Chief Gretzky. You're being really helpful with all this information that you're giving me. I'm really glad that I've talked to you. I will go now. Wait, detective. Don't mention the address of any of the victims' families to anyone. No, I won't tell anyone that the victims' families live in the city. And don't go... What's Correct, the victims' families live in the city. What's the rusty hinge? It's a pub. Why can't I go there? There have been reports of suspicious activity there. So, shouldn't I go and investigate the suspicious activity at the rusty hinge? 
No, that's not your job. Your job is to investigate the murders. Leave the rusty hinge alone. What if the suspicious activity at the rusty hinge has something to do with the murders? Then we'll deal with it. But for now, just focus on the murders. Okay. Off I go. I'll give you a list of the victims' families. Good luck. I mean, do I have the list of the vi- I can't- Hello? Oh, you see that book I mentioned earlier? Those creatures, they lived in a place quite different from our Vorville, I reckon. What book did you mention earlier? Oh, just a book from the library, you know, the one where Beatrix Bosch works. Anyway, it's about this far off land with strange beings. Do you know anything about the murders? I am afraid not, sir. I've been assisting the chief here, but we haven't found any solid leads yet. It's a real head scratcher. Is your hat too small for your head? My hat? No, it fits just fine. Why do you ask? It it's looks the weird. It's standard issue for Vordville police, you know. It looks weird. Well, I wouldn't say that. But if you think so, I guess beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Anyhow, have you checked with the witnesses? They might hold some clues. Who are the witnesses and where are they? There are a handful of folks from around town, but I can't really say where they are at the moment. They came by the station earlier, though. Maybe Chief Gretzky has their statements. Didn't mean to do that. Chief Gretzky, do you have the witness statements? Yes, we have them. Can I please have them? No, they're confidential, but we'll provide you with the relevant information. Can I have the information, please? Not yet. We need to screen the witnesses first. Who are the witnesses? We can't reveal their names, but they're all people close to the victims. How can I investigate the murders if you won't tell me who the witnesses are? You'll just have to trust us on this one, detective. Okay, where should I go first? Start with the families of the victims. Where? Where? Talk to the victims' families. Where are the victims' families? In the city. Can you tell me their address, please? No, but they'll know who you are. Just introduce yourself and ask them about the victims. How do I find them? Ask around. I'm asking you. Look, detective, just because you're from the city doesn't mean you can boss me around. Now off you go. Good luck. But what? Where do I? Where do I go? Where do I go? I don't understand. I don't understand. Where do I go? Where do I go? Chief Gretzky, 
How do I go somewhere else? What? I'm afraid that's a secret. How do I leave the police station? Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> There's nowhere else on the map to go. Good. I'm starting to think you did the murders. Detective, please. Have you made up your mind, Detective Martini? No, I haven't, because I can't. I don't know. I mean, it's running better than it did last time. Can I skip the intro? The second I... Oh, yeah. Okay, but how do I... How... How do I go anywhere else? Chief Gretzky, where in the city should I go first? Listen, you can't just barge into someone's house and demand answers. People need privacy. You need to be polite and respectful. Can you tell me where exactly the bodies were all found? You know you come up here from the city and you think you're so much better than us. But we got ways of doing things too. Now I got the Now morgue. you want to know where the bodies were found. Fine. They all turned up within a mile radius of Pascal's grocery shop. Happy now. Where is Pascal's grocery shop? Downtown. Raiders! Hi, 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 hi! Welcome in, Raiders! For those of you who don't know, my name is Suzeki. I'm a variety streamer from the UK, currently playing Vaudeville, trying to get answers out of this AI detective. It doesn't want to give me any answers. Um, how was your stream, Nay? If you need to raid and run and do any post stream care that is fine same goes for the raiders i would love you to hang around though if you are able it's always nice to see you if any of you've got any ideas about who done did the murder please let me know so i'm not getting anywhere okay thank you don't mention it now off you go where did my camera go? Let it be. All right, all right. <laughs> Sorry, I, I don't... I, uh, yeah. Let's go to the morgue. Hello? Greetings, Detective Martini. I was expecting you. Chief Gretzky gave me a ring. What can I help you with? What can you tell me about the dead people? Well, detective, it seems we've got our work cut out for us here. I've taken I don't a look at any the of them are blinking. Well, let's just say they're not exactly in the best shape. I mean, they're dead, aren't they? They're not going to be in the best shape. 
Tell me about the mayor's body. Ah, yes. The mayor. Interesting case, that one. I'd say she was killed elsewhere and then dumped here. The wounds on her body are quite distinctive, I should say. Who was killed elsewhere and dumped? Oh, I see. You're asking about the other two victims. I'm afraid I can't reveal too much about them just yet, detective. I need to run some tests, gather more evidence. But I can tell you this, they were both killed in a similar manner to the mayor. Who does she think the mayor is? Because I was trying to say mayor, as in Mayor Saxibar. But she's thinking mayor as in, I don't know, one of these people? What can you tell me about Mayor Saxabar? Mayor Saxabar, huh? Let's see. I'm afraid I can't reveal too much about him just yet either, detective. I've only just begun my examination of the bodies. But I can tell you this much, he's definitely not a victim of the same killer who off the other three. The wounds on his body are... different. More precise, if you will. Almost. Surgical, in a way. Hmm... Tell me about Maria Janssen. Maria Janssen, huh? Poor girl. She was a real looker, wasn't she? Blonde, Scandinavian looking. Just like a doll. But I'm afraid she didn't go gentle into that good night. The cause of death is still unknown, but I can tell you this much it wasn't pretty. Hi Sextiness, how's it going? Oh, and hi Mr. Bendy, and hi Slash, welcome on in. Lovely to see you all. Tell me about Nicola Grossman. Look, detective, let's just say Mr. Grossman didn't exactly go out with a bang. His was a rather quiet exit, shall we say. I mean, he was a big shot in the finance world and all, but in the end he just faded away. Peacefully, I should say. No struggle, no fuss. Just nothing. So Nicola Grossman wasn't murdered? Oh, I didn't say that, detective. I just said he didn't go out with a bang. I mean, he could have been murdered, but it's hard to say for sure without more evidence. But I can tell you this much his body didn't show any signs of trauma or struggle. He just died tell me about Haley Greenwood Haley Greenwood huh now she was a real sweetheart just a young thing barely out of her teens and from what I can gather she was quite the dancer but I'm afraid her life was cut short in a rather tragic way the cause of death is still unknown but I can tell you this much it wasn't natural he didn't go gentle into that good night either. Is there a link between the bodies? That's the million dollar question, isn't it, detective? I'm afraid I can't reveal too much just yet. I need to run some more tests, gather more evidence. But I can tell you this, all five victims were connected in some way. They all had ties to the club, Cabaret Violet. And they all had ties to each other. I thought there were four victims. Four. Him. You're right, detective. My apologies for the mistake. Four victims it is, then. But like I said, they all had ties to each other. And to the club. It's all connected somehow. Where is the club? Cabaret Violet. Let's just say it's not exactly on the map, detective. It's a bit of a exclusive establishment. Invite only, if you know what I mean. Okay, but I need but it to be I'm on the sure map so I can go there. You're a smart cookie, detective. No, I'm not. Do you know where it is? Me? Know where the club is? Huh. No, detective. I don't know anything about it, but like I said, I'm sure you'll figure it out. You've got a good nose for this sort of thing. 
Is there anything else useful you can tell me? Well, detective, I'm afraid that's all I can reveal for now. All right. But like I said, I'll keep running tests, gathering evidence. Who knows? Maybe we'll catch a break soon. Stranger things have happened in this business, right? Apparently so. Hello. Well, hello there. I'm Emily, a regular face in this bustling shop. Quite the global market, isn't it? Oh, haven't we met before? Always a pleasure to see familiar folks amidst these international crowds. By the way, have you tried Pascal's new cheese selection? It's simply divine. Do you know Mayor Saxabar? Mrs. Saxabar, you mean? Yes, she's a frequent visitor here, always picking up those fancy French cheeses. But I must say, her husband, Miss Saxabar, is more interesting, known for his extravagant parties. Quite the talk of the town. Do you know Maria Janssen? Maria? Yes, I recall her, a young socialite, always so lively. Such a shame about her untimely demise. He used to come in here sometimes, but we never really converse much. My condolences to her loved one. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should continue my shopping. Yeah, it is interesting. I've played it before, um, but my computer couldn't cope with it. But I've got a shiny new rainbow powered computer now and it's had a lot of updates. Basically, these are all AI driven and I've got to try and solve the murder. With the added thing of half the time, it picks up my words wrong from the microphone. But um, yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. Do you know Nicola Graceman? Nicola, of course, a lovely lady who shares my passion for cooking. He's been to my place for dinner a few times. But listen, I've just spotted that's, Ingrid Asperson, the dancer. That's not what I said. He's quite a sight with her graceful moves. Anyway, enjoy your day. Do you know Nicola Grossman? Ah, uh, you must mean Nicola Grossman, investor who's no longer with us. A pity, really. He was a prominent figure in our community. But let's not dwell on such sadness. The aroma of fresh bread is calling me. Do you know Haley Greenwood? Haley, the dancer? Yes, I've seen her perform once or twice. Tragic how she passed away so young. It's a small world in vaudeville, isn't it? Everyone seems connected somehow. Excuse me, I believe I see Pascal with a new shipment of truffles. Mustn't miss those. Do you know anything about the murders? Murders? Goodness, I'm just a simple housewife, not a detective like you. I only know what's been whispered around town. It's all quite unsettling, if I may be honest. But enough about that. The beauty of this shop lies in its variety, don't you agree? What have you heard whispered around town? Oh, just rumours and speculations that make me shudder. Yeah, tell me them. People mentioning strange happenings at the old mill or the oh. docks late at night. But honestly, I prefer not to delve into such matters. They disturb my peaceful nature. Now, have you been to the town square lately? The flowers are blooming beautifully this time of year. Tell me the rumours. My dear, I wouldn't want to spread hearsay. They say the victims had visited the theatre before their unfortunate end. And there's talk of a mysterious stranger lurking about. But really, it's all too grim for me. Let's focus on the delightful scene here, like the colourful spices from the east. Where is the theatre? The theatre? Situated towards the heart of vaudeville, surrounded by charming cafes and art displays popular spot, especially during this season of shows and performances. 
but I wouldn't know the exact location. I just follow the crowd when attending. Hello, Pascal. Hi there, detective. Busy day at the shop, huh? Mrs. Potter was just in, you know. Uh, she's she's a gem, there. that one. Do you know anything about the Saxabar murder? Murder at Saxabar. That's terrible news. I just sell vegetables here, far from all that trouble. But I did hear some whispers about a commotion there the other night. Mayor Saxabar was killed. Do you know anything about it? No, I didn't know it was the mayor. That circus director, Mr. Saxabar, must be devastated. Such a tragedy for Vaudeville. Do you know Maria Janssen? Maria Janssen? Yes, I've heard the name. He was a socialite, right? Sadly, she passed away too. But I can't say I knew her personally, just through town chatter. Do you know Nicola Grossman? Nicola Grossman? Yes, I knew him. Poor man found dead outside my shop recently. Shocking, really. He was an investor, I believe. Quite a loss for our community. Did you see anything suspicious before the body was found? Not a thing, detective. It was early morning, quiet as can be. Then suddenly there he was. I wish I could have helped him, but it was too late. You found the body then? Yes, indeed, I did. Unfortunate event it was. I was just bringing in fresh produce when I stumbled upon him. Still gives me chills thinking about it. Do you have CCTV? CCTV? No, never needed it in peaceful vaudeville. But now I'm starting to wonder. Hmm. Do you know Haley Greenwood? Say. Ah, Haley Greenwood, the young dancer. Such a pity she's gone too. A real talent, they said. Her story is a sad one indeed. Tell me her story. Well, from what I've gathered, she was a rising star in the dance world, but her life was cut short. Found dead near the river, I believe. People say she had a bright future ahead of her. It's all very unfortunate. Where is the theater? The theater is in the heart of Vaudeville, surrounded by those lovely cafes and parks our city is famous for. You can't miss it. Can you point it out on my map, please? Oh, I'm afraid I'm not so good with maps. If you head towards the center where all those delightful cafes are, you will surely stumble upon it. It's quite an iconic building, you know. Do you know where by the river Haley Greenwood was found? By the river, you mean where Haley Greenwood was found? I'm sorry, I don't know the exact spot, but it's somewhere along the riverside. Vaudeville's River is a beautiful sight in the spring weather, despite such tragic events. Yes, that's right. Her discovery was a distressing moment for us all. It's been a troubling time lately, wouldn't you agree? Well, I don't have anywhere else to go. Chief Gretzky, can you tell me exactly where each body was found? Sorry, but that's not necessary for your investigation right now. However, the coroner's report is ready. Extaberia, the coroner, is at the morgue. I'll mark it on your map so you can pay her a visit. She knows you're coming and she'll fill you in on the autopsy details. Do you have any more information about... Sorry. The... The other victims are just these three. At the moment, I've primarily focused on Maria, Nicola, and Haley due to their distinct features and circumstances. The remaining victims also showed unusual signs, but I'd need to delve deeper into their cases before giving you more specifics. Tell However, I can assure you they all share the common thread of being linked to the mysterious club. 
Do you have more information about Haley? As for Haley Greenwood, her autopsy revealed some intriguing findings. Besides being covered in blood, she had numerous lacerations and puncture wounds, indicating an animal attack as you mentioned earlier. However, these injuries were post-mortem, meaning they occurred after her death. Her body was discovered near the bustling bar, Coral, in central Vaudeville. It's quite perplexing indeed. What's killed Haley? Unfortunately, I haven't been able to pinpoint the exact cause of death for Haley yet. Her wounds suggest an animal attack, but it's peculiar that these injuries were inflicted after she had already passed away. It's a real mystery, and I'm working diligently to solve it. Can you show me on my map where Corva is? I'm sorry, Detective, but I wouldn't be able to help with locating Cora on a map. My knowledge is limited to the morgue and its inhabitants. However, I do remember hearing about someone named Cora in relation to the case, but I couldn't tell you where they might be found. You're better off asking around town or checking your sources. Can you tell me where the bar Covel is? Can you tell me where the bar Covel is? Ah, yes, the bar you're referring to is situated in central Vaudeville, quite close to where Maria's apartment is. It's a well-known spot among the locals. You won't miss it. Can you tell me where Maria's apartment is? While I'd love to help, Detective, Maria's apartment is not something I typically keep track of. Located in central Vaudeville, near the popular bar, Coral, where Haley was found, but for precise directions or addresses, you might want to consult a map or someone more familiar with the area. Can you tell me about Maria's autopsy results, please? Absolutely, Detective. Maria Jansen's body displayed numerous bite marks, predominantly on her arms. One of her forearm bones was fractured due to the immense force of the bite. Was it the same animal that attacked Haley? It's hard to confirm if it's the same animal since, unlike Haley, Maria's injuries were inflicted anti-mortem. However, the nature of the bites does bear some similarity. Yet, without further evidence or a clear suspect, we can only speculate at this point. What was Maria's cause of death? Apologies for any ambiguity, but at this juncture, the precise cause of Maria's death remains undetermined. Her demise occurred on April 14, 1914, between the hours of 10 and 11 p.m. Her body was discovered the following morning, halfway between her residence and the neighboring club, Coral. Despite the unfortunate state of her body with fractures and bite marks, a definitive cause is still under investigation. Can you tell me about Nicola Grossman's autopsy, please? Autopsy findings. Well, Nicola Grossman's autopsy revealed no signs of trauma or violence, unlike Maria and Haley. External factors contributing to his death. His body was found in his office, and it appears he died of natural causes, possibly a heart attack. Nicola was a prominent figure in Vaudeville's finance world, known to many. I thought Nicola's body was found outside Pascal's shop. Certainly. Oh, forgive me, Detective Martini. You're correct. My mistake, Nicola's body was indeed discovered outside Pascal's shop, not in his office as I previously mentioned. The peaceful nature of his death still suggests a possible heart attack or other natural cause. However, the change in location does add an interesting twist to the circumstances surrounding his passing. Tell me about the Saxabar autopsy. Saxabar automobile, as far as my understanding goes. Yeah, tell me about the Saxabar automobile. Saxabar yep. Located in northern yep. Vaudeville. Yeah. I haven't had any direct involvement with the automobile, but given its association with the circus, one might assume it's used for their transportation needs or performances. Awesome. However, this is purely speculative on my part. Yeah. Hmm. I get that. 
Tell me about Mayor Saxabar's autopsy. Tell me about Mayor Saxabar's autopsy. Tell me about Mayor Saxabar's autopsy. I apologize, detective, but I haven't performed an autopsy on anyone named Mersak or Buzz. Therefore, I'm unable to provide any information regarding their cause of death or related details. My work primarily revolves around those brought to the Vaudeville morgue, like Nicola, Maria, and Haley. What about Mayor Saxabar? Mayor Saxabar, as I mentioned earlier, is not a victim of the same perpetrator as the others. His injuries are distinctly different and seem to be meticulously inflicted. He's currently alive and serving as the circus director, being a well-known figure in vaudeville at age 42. Fortunately, without examining him medically, I can't provide further details about his health status or any potential ailments. I thought Saxabar had been murdered. My sincere apologies once again, detective. Monsieur Gilliam Saxabar is very much alive, contrary to any circulating rumors. His role as a circus director and his relation to the Saxabar automobile might have led to some confusion. However, his health and well-being are not within my jurisdiction as a coroner, so any inquiries about him should be directed elsewhere. Now, returning to our victims, their connections to the exclusive Cabaret Violet Club have surfaced during our investigation, adding another layer of complexity to this case. Is Saxabar dead? Lil. Is Saxabar dead? No, Saxabar, the circus director, is still alive and kicking, age 42. Now stop with these wild questions and get going to the morgue. You told me. Saxabar was a murder victim. I'm Steve Gretzky, looking disgusted, rolls his eyes and says, Mordotic, never heard of it. Sounds like nonsense to me. Saxabar's got his own secrets, but that ain't one of them. Now leave my office and let me get back to my chess game. You told me that Mayor Saxabar was found outside the grocery shop. Inter oh, Maria Johnson, yes, she was the one discovered near her apartment bloodied. But no, she wasn't found at Pascal's shop. Nicola Grossman, though, was the poor soul with the broken neck located outside the grocery store. Now enough chatter about this. Go see Xtaberia as planned. What happened to Mayor Saxabar? Sighing deeply, Chief Gretzky clarifies, Mayor Saxabar, there's no such thing in vaudeville. You must be confused, Detective. I'm Saxabar very confused. Is just a circus man, nothing more. You told me I had to investigate the murder of Mayor Saxabar. That's what the. Where is the circus? The circus run by that Saxabar fellow is up in northern Vaudeville around Circus Square. Now please find your way there yourself. Where is the theatre? There are several theatres in Vaudeville, mostly scattered around the city centre. But if you're asking about Marina H.S. performances, she usually holds them at different venues, not a fixed theater. Now, if we're done here, I suggest you move along. All right. I'm not imagining things, am I? Definitely said at the beginning, I need you to investigate the murder of Mayor Saxabar. And now apparently there is no Mayor Saxabar. And Saxabar's not dead. Hello. 
Hi there. I hope you're doing well. I really appreciate your involvement in Haley's case. If you need anything from me, just ask, okay? This bar, Coral, is like a mini vaudeville, full of talent and dreams. Tell me about Haley. Oh, Haley was such a bright soul. She was a fantastic dancer with a heart full of passion. We used to dance together here at Coral before she moved on to bigger stages. Her loss has left a deep void in our community. It's just not the same without her energy and laughter. Did she have any enemies? Enemies? I'm not sure. Haley was loved by everyone here. She was always kind and friendly. But you know, vaudeville can be competitive, so who knows? I wish I had a clearer answer for you. Do you know Nicola Grossman? Yes, I've heard the name before. Isn't he that investor who passed away recently? I didn't know him personally, though. My world revolves around dance in this bar, Coral. But his death, along with Haley's, has made me quite uneasy. It's like a dark cloud hanging over Vaudeville. Do you know Maria Janssen? Maria Janssen? Yes, I remember her. She was a socialite, quite known in vaudeville circles. Sadly, she's not with us anymore. It's strange, isn't it? So many lives lost recently. But I try not to dwell on it too much. It only makes me more scared. Where is the theatre? The theatre? It's in the heart of the Lights District, not far from Lumiere Street. You can't miss it. It's a grand building that lights up the district at night. But nowadays, with the chill of spring, I prefer the cozy warmth of coral or the vibrant cabin violet nearby. Where is Caban Violet? Ah, uh, Cabin Violet, it's really close, right in our neighborhood. Just follow this direction on your map and you'll find Marina H. She manages the place and she's a dear friend of mine. It's a lively spot, always bustling with activity. Tell me about Marina H. Marina H, you mean? She's a wonderful burlesque dancer and a lovely person. She runs Cabin Violet with such grace and charm. Her performances are always a treat to watch. We often hang out when I'm not busy here at Coral. Okay. Let's go see Saxabar. Hello. Hey there. You're just in time for our spectacle. What is your spectacle? It's our grand circus show, full of thrills and excitement. Lions, acrobats, magic, all in one night. But I'm sure you've heard of it, no? You have lions? Yes, indeed. I tame those magnificent beasts myself. Quite a sight, I assure you. Could the lions kill someone? Well, they're wild animals. But under my guidance, they're as harmless as kittens. Now, shall we talk about the circus? It's a lively place, bustling with energy. Do you know Haley Greenwood? Oh, tragic news about her. Talented dancer, taken too soon. But let's focus on the living, shall we? We have a show to put on. Do you know Nicola Grossman? Ah, uh, yes, the late investor. His support helped us grow. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must attend to my lions. Tell me about Nicola Grossman's support. He financed some of our projects, enabling us to expand and improve the circus. But really, I ought to get back to work now. Are you in trouble now he's dead? No trouble at all. Death is unfortunate, but life goes on in the circus. By the way, have you met Mr. Potter, another investor of ours who also passed away? Anyway, duty calls. Adieu. Do you know Maria Janssen? Oh, 
Oh, such a pity. He was a regular at our shows. But I can't dwell on that. Must keep the circus spinning. Maria was killed maybe by an animal. An animal? Likely, my animals are well trained. But I'm not a detective. I leave that to you. Is it possible someone else got access to your animals? Highly improbable. Keep them secured and supervised. Look, I've animals to feed. Let's wrap this up. Hmm. Hello. Well, hello there, under the enchanting lights of our theater. Are you excited for the upcoming performance? It's quite a spectacle, I assure you. What is the upcoming performance? The mesmerizing burlesque show that draws art enthusiasts from across the globe to our chilly yet captivating vaudeville. You'll be enthralled, I promise you. Now, would you care to know about my fascination with the occult and chemistry? It's a unique blend, isn't it? Yes, tell me about the occult and chemistry. Oh, they're my secret passions outside of dancing. The occult intrigues me with its mysteries and hidden knowledge, much like the allure of our performances. Chemistry, on the other hand, is like a dance of molecules, a silent ballet that creates and transforms. In this spring air of vaudeville, it's as if nature itself is brewing its own chemistry experiment. But enough about me, are you a fan of such esoteric subjects or just here for the show? I'm here to investigate murders. Murders? That's a grim topic for such a lively place. I'm afraid I don't know much about that. But I do know that life is precious and unpredictable, just like a dance. Let's focus on the beauty around us instead, shall we? The Do smoke, the lights, the anticipation, it's all part of the magic. Do you know Haley Greenwood? Ah, Haley, yes. She was a fellow dancer here, a vibrant spirit with a talent for movement. Sadly, she was found lifeless near the club not too long ago. Such a tragedy, especially in our close-knit community of artists. But I trust those in charge are handling it with care. Who found her? I was the one who came across her, yes. A sight I wish to forget. But let's not dwell on sorrow. Or others who deserve our attention and care. Like Ingrid or dear Beatrix Bosch, the librarian. Have you met them? They are both still very much alive and part of our world here in Vaudeville. By the way, I seem to have misplaced one of my precious stilettos, the ones I use for my shows. Isn't that a bother? Tell me about Beatrix Bosch. Beatrix Bosch, the wise librarian, is a treasure trove of knowledge. She's been around for quite some time, 72 years to be exact. Her life revolves around books and she's always found amidst the shelves in our local library. She's a lovely woman, very much alive and an integral part of Vaudeville's heartbeat. Where is the library? The library lies in the heart of our city, Vaudeville, though I couldn't tell you its exact address. But if you ask anyone here, they guide you straight to it. Now, do you think my lost stiletto might be at the library? Stranger things have happened. Tell me about finding the body. Finding Haley's body was a chilling experience. It was early morning and the city was just beginning to wake up. The air was crisp and the streets were empty except for her lifeless form near the club's entrance. I remember feeling shocked and saddened by the sight. But as they say, life goes on, and we must carry on with our performance, honoring her memory through our art. Did Haley have any enemies? Enemies? Haley was a sweet soul who got along with almost everyone. However, I recall she had a brief disagreement with Count Graveson during one of his visits to our show. But that's all I know. It's a small world here, and such disputes are rare and usually resolved quickly. Who is Count Graveson?
Count Graveson, a distinguished nobleman and avid collector, still among us at the age of fortified. He's known for his interest in our performances and occasionally graces us with his presence. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must prepare for my act. The show is about to start. Where can I find Count Graveson? You'll likely encounter him in his grand estate or at one of Vaudeville's high society events. But as to a specific location, that's beyond my knowledge, I'm afraid. Well, time for me to dazzle under the stage lights now. Where is his estate? His manor resides on the western outskirts of Vaudeville, in the area known as Graveson Manor. It's quite a notable landmark, but as for a precise address, that's a mystery to me. Do you know Nicola Graceman? Oh, Nicola. He's a passionate chemist and biologist. We sometimes discuss our shared interests in those subjects when we cross paths. She's quite intriguing, really. But now, please, allow me to immerse myself in my performance. Do you know Nicola Grossman? Apologies, detective. It seems there's some confusion. Nicola Griezmann is who I know, not Grossman. He's a fascinating woman with a deep understanding of chemistry and biology. However, I must focus on my dance routine at the moment. We can chat more later if you wish. Do you know Maria Janssen? Maria Janssen, such a tragedy. She was a vibrant socialite, always full of life. Sadly, she's no longer with us. Her departure has left a void in Vaudeville's social scene. Excuse me again, but I really must leave now and perform. Alright, I don't think we're getting anywhere. Chief! Tell me where the manor is. Impatiently, with a hint of irritation, Chief Gretzky cuts in the manner of what? Detective? Spit it out or leave it. I don't have all day to decode riddles. Where is the Count's manor? The Count's Manor, known as Graveson Manor, is situated I was going to say, I've forgotten the name of, of the Count. City. Now, off you go. Can you mark the manor on my map, please? Shaking my head, I reply, afraid not, I don't deal with maps. But once you head west, you'll spot it. But I can't. Chief! Chief! With a stern look and a raised eyebrow, I exclaim, Yes, what is it now? Two of the victims were attacked by an animal. Indeed, that's what we believe. Their injuries suggest some sort of wild animal attack, but we can't be certain without more evidence. Now, let's focus on what we do know and leave the speculation for later. Could it be one of Saxabar's lions? Doubtful. Saxabar's lions are well tended and secure in their enclosures at the circus. I can't imagine them roaming freely in town causing havoc. But like I said, detective, we need solid proof before making such accusations. Hmm. What animal do you think attacked the victims? Indeed, all of these victims share a common thread their association with the elusive cabaret violet. This club, shrouded in mystery, seems to be at the heart of our investigation. As for Nicola Grossman, his time of death was narrowed down between the hours of 9 and midnight on April 14th. What animal attacked the victims? Based on the evidence and the nature of the wounds, it's plausible that a large... A large what? What? 
Sorry, I forgot it. Could you restate your question? What animal attacked the victims? Ah, uh, yes, forgive my lapse. Which animal attacked the victims? Apologies for the confusion earlier. Could a lion have killed the victims? Given the type of injuries observed, particularly the lacerations and puncture wounds, it's reasonable to consider a lion or a similarly sized and equipped wild animal as a potential culprit for these attacks. However, further analysis is needed to confirm this hypothesis. Do you know where the Gravesun Manor is? Regrettably, I'm unfamiliar with the exact location of Gravesun Manor. It's said to be situated <coughs> on the western outskirts of the <coughs> but beyond that, my knowledge is limited. I spend most of my time in this morgue, studying the deceased rather than exploring the city's landmarks. Do you have anything else to tell me that might help? At this point, Detective, I've shared all the pertinent findings from the autopsies and the possible involvement of a large predator like a lion. Its connection to the Cabaret Violet is intriguing, but without knowing its location or more about its patrons. We're left with many unanswered questions. It's intriguing how Maria's apartment and the Coral Bar are in close proximity in central Vaudeville. Yet the Gravesend Manor remains elusive on the western outskirts. Death certainly has a way of revealing life's enigmatic patterns and secrets. I went to Cabaret Violet. Oh, you did. That's quite interesting. It's not every day one gets to visit such an exclusive establishment. How was your experience there? Did you manage to gather any useful information regarding our case? The club is located in the Lights District on Lumiere Street, if memory serves me right. Quite a bustling area, isn't it? The owner has lost a stiletto. A lost stiletto, you say? That's an intriguing detail. Considering Haley Greenwood's cause of death involved a similar object, this piece of information could be significant. Nevertheless, without examining the missing stiletto, can't definitively link it to her injuries but it's certainly a lead worth pursuing in this tangled web of events was Haley killed with a stiletto yes it appears so hmm I think Haley was killed with a stiletto. Goodness, that's alarming. A stiletto, you say? Ah, my lost shoe. It seems like a lead worth investigating. Perhaps it might be hidden in plain sight within our theater. Would you like me to show you where we keep our costumes and accessories? Maybe yes. it'll turn up in our search. Yes, take me there. Let's venture into our little world of glamour and mystery. Follow me, detective. Where should the shoe be? Ah, the stiletto, such a crucial piece of our art. Who could have taken your stiletto? My dear, in this industry, jealousy and competition run deep. It's not uncommon for performers to borrow or swap costume pieces, but to take a shoe and use it as a weapon, that's quite a disturbing thought. I can't imagine anyone from our community resorting to such actions. Did you kill her? What a horrid suggestion. I, a burlesque performer, would never harm another dancer. That's simply unthinkable. I'm shocked that crossed your mind, detective. 
Surely, there are more plausible explanations for Haley's tragic demise. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Do you wear stilettos? Stilettos? No, I prefer dancing barefoot or in ballet slippers. They are more comfortable and better for my type of dancing. High heels aren't really my thing. Hmm. Do we know how Nicola Grossman died yet? My apologies for any earlier misinformation, but upon further review, it turns out that Nicola Grossman did not die from natural dun, causes. Dun, dun, dun. How did he die? Nicola Grossman was fatally stabbed in the back <laughs> of his neck with a butcher's knife on April 14th, between the hours of 9 p.m. and midnight. This revelation sets his death apart from his relatives and adds another layer of complexity to our investigations. How could you miss that? Oh yeah, it looks, it looks like natural causes. It was probably a heart attack or something. No way, there's a knife in his neck! Did you find the knife? Indeed, the knife was found inside Pascal's grocery shop. It bore some fingerprints, but unfortunately, none matched Pascal's. This discovery only deepens the mystery surrounding these deaths. Did the fingerprints match anybody? No, so far, the fingerprints haven't matched any known individuals in our database. This is an ongoing process, though, and we're still hoping to identify the owner of those prints. Can you tell me more about Maria? Maria Jansen was a young woman, just 23, with blonde hair and the distinctive features of someone from Scandinavia. How did she die? As I mentioned earlier, the exact cause of Maria's death is still unclear. Right, Pascal. Do you own a butcher's knife? A butcher's knife? Evans, no. I leave such tools to the professionals like Pascal. I'm more accustomed to using a chef's knife for preparing delicate dishes. Besides, knives give me goosebumps, especially in these chilly spring days. Pascal. Yes, Detective Martini. I'm all ears as always. Is there something more on your mind about these cases? Or Did perhaps you'd like to discuss some tasty vegetables. Did you know Nicola Grossman was stabbed? Nicola Grossman, you mean? Stabbed? Goodness, no, I wasn't aware of that detail. Such violence is unheard of in our peaceful town. It's truly unsettling. You said you found the body. Wasn't there any blood? Now that you mention it, Detective, there wasn't any visible blood on him when I found him. But I was in such a state of shock, I might have missed it. This revelation adds another layer to this mystery, doesn't it? The knife that stabbed him was found in your shop. In my shop. That's news to me. I swear I've never seen a knife like that before. I hope nobody thinks I had anything to do with it. This is seriously worrying, I tell you. Do you own a butcher's knife? Of course I have knives for cutting meat and vegetables in my store, but nothing like a butcher's knife specifically. I'm just a humble grocery owner, not a butcher. This whole situation is making me nervous, I must say. Who else could have been in your shop that morning? 
That morning, as I was opening up, only a few regular early birds like Mrs. Otter were around. Don't recall anyone unusual, especially not with a butcher's knife. It's baffling, honestly. Could Mrs. Potter have killed Nicola Grossman? Mrs. Potter. No, I can't imagine her doing such a thing. She's a respected lady and a dear customer. Besides, she's been linked to Count Graveson, not Mr. Grossman. But then again, who knows what secrets people hide? Tell me about Count Graveson. Count Graveson, well, he's a nobleman and a collector. Quite the eligible bachelor, if you catch my drift. Rumor has it he's smitten with our very own Mrs. Potter. But SHH, keep it hush hush. Where is Graveson Manor? Oh, Graveson Manor is situated on the western outskirts of Vaudeville, near the river. It's a grand place I've heard, but I've never actually been there myself. Quite mysterious, isn't it? Can you show me on the map? Apologies, detective, but as I mentioned earlier, maps aren't my strong suit. However, if you follow the river westward from the city center, you'll eventually come across the impressive Graveson Manor. Tell me about Count Graveson. Count Graveson you're referring to. Well, he's quite an intriguing fellow with his unique collection of artifacts and tales. I've spent some enchanting evenings at his manor, immersed in his world of curiosities. It's like stepping into another realm entirely. His dream of a wandering show sounds absolutely fascinating, doesn't it? But alas, I must admit, find myself longing for a cup of tea after all this talk. Where is Graveson Manor? Graveson Manor is out west, beyond Vaudeville's bustling center, in the quieter Vaudi Valley area. You really should visit sometime, but mind you, it's quite a different atmosphere than this vibrant market. Now, if only I could find those mushrooms Pascal promised me for my next culinary adventure. Are you in a relationship with Count Grayson? Relationship? Goodness, detective, I'm a respectable widow who enjoys the company of friends, including the charming Count. But romance? No, that's not on my agenda. I'm more focused on savoring life's pleasures, like these exotic mushrooms I'm searching for. How did your husband die? My husband, Victor, passed away in India due to flu on March 21st last year. Such a devastating loss, but life goes on, as they say. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must inquire about those mushrooms. Alright, let's go to the manor. Oh, that's, that's behind your head. Okay. I see. <laughs> I thought it was a, I thought it was a funny hat. Hello, I thought you were wearing a funny hat, but it's just the thing on the wall behind you. Those are not just a wall, my friend. The display of my exotic treasures gathered from various corners of the earth. Each piece has a tale to tell, you know. But enough about that. Do you play golf? It's a splendid sport. Brings people together. Golf is a good wo walk spoiled. Ah, I see you have a sense of humor. Not a fan of the Bordy Valley Country Club then. It's a fine establishment up north. You ought to give it a try sometime. Now tell me, are you interested in any specific artifact or just marveling at the assemblage? Where is the country club? Well, it's situated in the northern outskirts of our dear Vaudeville, in Golf Avenue, number one. To be precise, it's part of the esteemed Vaudy Valley Country Club. You really should visit sometime. Do you know Nicola Grossman? Um, Nicola's Grace. I'm afraid that name doesn't ring a bell. Are they a member of the club or perhaps another collector like myself? Do you know Nicola Grossman? 
Oh, you meant Nicola Grossman. Yes, I've heard of him. An investor, wasn't he? Sad to hear about his demise. But I must admit, I didn't know him personally. My focus has always been on my collection and the fascinating world of antiquities. Do you know Maria Janssen? Maria Janssen, socialite. Yes, I recall her. Such a shame she passed away so young. Quite the beauty she was. Did you know her well? She was often seen at parties and events around Broadville. But let's not dwell on sad news. So much more to discuss about my collection. Do you know Haley Greenwood? Haley Greenwood, the dancer. Yes, I've heard of her. Tragic end to her life, if I remember correctly. But please, let's shift our attention back to the marvels surrounding us. Have you noticed this African mask over here? Said to be over a century old. Fascinating. Isn't it? Tell me about Mrs. Potter. Mrs. Potter, a delightful woman. She's an heiress and quite lively at the age of 38. We've spent many enjoyable evenings together. She appreciates the finer things in life, much like myself. Would you like to know more about her interests? Yes. Mrs. Potter has a keen eye for art and is particularly fond of painting. He is also quite the equestrian, owning several fine horses. In fact, she recently won a prestigious horse racing event here. Is that, have any of you guys got any ideas about any of this? Conversationalist and always the life of any gathering. I must say, I find her company most enchanting. Are the two of you in a relationship? relationship you ask i do ask well we enjoy each other's company and share many interests but i wouldn't put a label on it just yet he's a fascinating individual and our time together is always filled with intrigue and excitement are you sleeping together my my detective <laughs> questions are getting quite personal yeah they are Believe that what happens between two consenting adults in private is nobody else's business. Oh. Suffice it to say, Fair point. we have a mutual respect and admiration for one another. But now, if we I'm going to take that as a yes, because otherwise you would have said no. I'd love to tell you about Just the rare vase from ancient Greece. Do you go to Pascal's Grocery? Pascal's Grocery, located in the heart of Vaudeville City. I can't say I frequent it. I have staff who handle such matters for me. I prefer to dedicate my time to more captivating pursuits, like this enigmatic Egyptian artifact here. Do you have a butcher's knife? Butcher's knife? Well, I presume there must be one in the kitchen for food preparation, but I couldn't tell you its exact location or appearance. Do you own any animals? Indeed, I do own several exotic pets. Hello. I have an African parrot, a couple of South American reptiles, and even an Australian kangaroo. They make for quite an interesting menagerie, don't they? Are any of them dangerous? Are any of your animals dangerous? While some of my pets might have unique behaviours due to their wild nature, I wouldn't consider them dangerous as they're well taken care of and handled by professionals. However, accidents can happen, I suppose. Now, enough about animals. Have you seen this intriguing suit of armour from medieval Europe? Could your animals escape? Highly unlikely that my animals would escape, as they are kept in secure enclosures suitable for their species. Hmm. But hypothetically, if they were to get out, it would certainly cause quite a stir in Vaudeville. Just imagine, 
people would be talking about the kangaroo hopping down the streets or the parrot perched on the town's rooftops. Fascinating thought, isn't it? All right, let's go to the country club. Hello. 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 The microphone was on. Hi. Can you tell me about Count Graveson? Count Graveson? Really? I have no idea. He said he comes here a lot. Yes, I have heard that. Do you know Nicola Grossman? Oh, yes. Poor man. That was terrible. Tell me about Nicola Grossman. He was so worried, almost paranoid, very silent. He was different after the trip to India. Tell me about his trip to India. The Potters, Graveson, Maria Jansen, Nicola Grossman, and Haley Oh, Grossman hello. to India to research starting a business together. Monsieur Saxabar and Marina H. were supposed to go, too, but they were left out at the last minute. During the expedition in India, there were tensions that led to the project stopping. Mr. Potter and Graveson had loud arguments. Nicola Grossman started acting paranoid after the trip. Mr. Potter died in India. Yes. How did Mr. Potter die? I do not know. Okay, summing the scope. I mean, that is that is the most useful information we've had this whole time. So that links everybody together. How do you know about all this? Maria told me. Tell me about Maria. Tell me about Maria. We were close friends. We were both socialites. He was so nice, kind, cheerful. Did she have any enemies? Enemies? No, everyone loved her. Did she have a partner? He was so kind. No. Okay, I guess she's just here to tell me that, all that, lore dump, and then nothing else. Okay, so we need to go and talk to Mrs. Potter again. Tell me about what happened in India. Yes, India. Quite an exotic place, isn't it? We were there with other investors, including Count Graveson exploring business opportunities. But fate had other plans, unfortunately. Now about those mushrooms, Pascal. How did your husband die? Dear me, detective, we've already covered this. It was flu that took Victor away while we were in India. Such sorrowful memories, but I must move forward. Now, Pascal, any news on those elusive mushrooms? What were your husband and the Count arguing about? Argument, you ask? Well, they occasionally had differing views on business matters, as any investors might. But I wouldn't call them full-blown arguments. They were civilized men, after all. Now, changing the subject, have you tried Pascal's new cheese selection? It's imported all the way from Switzerland. Quite delightful, I must say. Do you worry that everyone on that trip is dying? Oh, detective, I can't say I've given it much thought. It's all rather coincidental, but I trust in fate and try not to dwell on such morbid matters. 
After all, we have these scrumptious cheeses to relish. Life is for living, isn't it? Do you wear stilettos? Stilettos, detective. No, I prefer these comfortable red pumps. They match my dress and are perfect for strolling around Vaudeville's lovely shops. Like this one owned by our dear Pascal. Have you been to the Cabaret Violet? The Cabaret Violet? Yes, I've heard of it. It's in the heart of Vaudeville, near those charming cafes and art displays. I've not been there myself, but I've heard it's quite the place for entertainment. Now, Pascal, about those mushrooms. Hmm. Tell me about what happened in India. Ah, India. Quite an exotic adventure that was. Mr. and Mrs. Potter, myself, and other esteemed individuals ventured there to explore potential business opportunities. The culture, the landscapes, and the people were truly mesmerizing. We attended lavish parties and experienced the local customs. However, I'm afraid I can't delve into the specifics of our business dealings. Now, over here we have an exquisite statue from India. Would you like to hear about it? How did Mr. Potter die? Oh, that's a tragic tale. Mr. Potter passed away in India on March 21st, 1914. The exact circumstances surrounding his death are unclear, but I assure you it was untimely and unfortunate. Now, let's not dwell on such sadness, shall we? What? I'd much rather talk about this beautiful Indian art. What did you and Mr. Potter argue about? Occasionally, Mr. Potter could be short-tempered, especially with his wife. We may have had differing views during our time in India. Those are mere trifles compared to the grandeur of this room. Have you admired this polished African sword yet? It's all very interesting, isn't it? There's definitely something going on here. Let's... Well, actually, it is time for break, so I'll take a break now. I will be back in a few minutes, and we are going to go to the Cabernet Violet. And, because uh, apparently she was there as well, and Saxabar was there as well. So we'll talk to them all about it. I'll see you in a few. Um, oh, we're on a timer. Okay. Well, I mean, it looks like it's about to explode. What? Shit, what the hell are you doing? You can't be here. Oh, sorry. It's sad. My dog's dead. Uh, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, can someone give me. Can I borrow your radio, Lilith? Yes, sir. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I made a mistake. Rampage, rampage, rampage. Suzaki is trying not to murder me. Uh, go guide me toward Mad Body. Right. I'm faster than you, you silly Billy. Ow. This isn't gonna work. This isn't gonna work. Um, what happens? Ha <laughs> 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 Thank you. 
There we go. I mean, obviously, some people have got like seeing visibility and stuff. <laughs> he's, not, he's still alive, Villa. He's still alive. He's still got six HP. <laughs> Premature celebration. It's a problem. Marina, tell me what happened in India. India, detective. I'm sorry, but I've never left Bordeaux. All I know is the stage and the people here. Now about that stiletto, we should really concentrate on finding it instead of discussing far off lands. Shall we resume our search? I know that you went to India with a group of other investors, including Mr. and Mrs. Potter and Count Graveson. I apologize, but you must be mistaken. I haven't traveled anywhere with Mr. Potter or any investors. As I mentioned earlier, I've never ventured beyond Bordeaux. It's fascinating that you think I have, though. Now, if we're done with this topic, let's return to the issue of the missing stiletto. Yes, the enigmatic Count Graveson. His collection of curiosities is quite renowned in our circle. Who knows, perhaps he has an interest in stilettos, too. But alas, these are just speculations. Did you know Mr. Potter? Oh, Mr. Potter, such a prominent figure in our community. His investments have certainly helped our theatre thrive. It's unfortunate that he's no longer around. His absence is felt deeply. But please, detective, ask me something else if it's not related to him passing away. It's the sensitive subject. How did Mr. Potter die? Well, as far as I'm aware, Mr. Potter met his end in India on March 21st, 1914. But the specifics are a mystery to me, just like the whereabouts of that missing stiletto. Hmm. Oh, wait, no, she was supposed to go, but she didn't. Was it that she was supposed to go, but she didn't go? Why didn't you go to India? Simply put, detective, I haven't been informed of the details surrounding his death. Dear detective, my life revolves around this theatre and our performances. Traveling to distant places like India has never been on my agenda. Besides, vaudeville is all I've ever known and loved. Now about the stiletto, mm. it's a... Mr. Saxabar. You were supposed to go to India, but you didn't go. Huh. They wanted me to tame the sacred bulls of Nandi. They forgot I'm a lion tamer, not a bull tamer. Did you know Mr. Potter? Yes, a valued investor and a kind man. Do you know how he died? No. Why should I? Do you think Mrs. Potter could murder people? Ha. Huh. That woman meek and mild bite hung rather than say boo to a goose. Do you know Mrs. Potter? Everyone in the circus world knows each other, but never got close to her. Is Mrs. Potter in the circus world? No, but her husband was a generous investor in my spectacle. Do you know Count Graveson? 
No, never heard of him. I think that's a lie. Oh, really? Why don't you try those cuffs on a lion and see how that goes? Are you threatening me? No, just suggesting you shouldn't play with things you don't comprehend. Help me comprehend. Good day, detective. Hmm. I mean, we're getting closer, aren't we? You have got so you're in the middle of everything. Why did you go to India with the others? Well, Detective, my late husband Victor, along with our friend, the enigmatic Count Graveson, and a few other investors, had this delightful notion of starting a business. They wanted to create a traveling spectacle featuring exotic artifacts and performers from every corner of the world. It was an opportunity too enticing to resist. So off we went to India for our research adventure. Alas, things didn't quite pan out as planned. But life has its ways of surprising us, doesn't it? Who else went with you? Ah, yes. A few others joined our group. There was this lovely woman, Ginny Gentry, and two more investors, Mr. Cullum and Mr. Ernest. Such a charming bunch, really. We all shared a passion for exploring new ideas and indulging in cultural experiences. Count Grayson was especially excited about obtaining rare artifacts for his manor's museum. But I digress, detective. Have you sampled any of Pascal's fine wines? Why didn't Saxabar go with you? Saxabar, that charming but enigmatic man. I'm not sure, detective. Perhaps he had other commitments or simply preferred to stay behind. He did mention something about a secret project he was working on, but I couldn't pry any details from him. Why didn't Marina go with you? Marina H., that sweet burlesque dancer. He was busy with her performances, I believe. Such a talented young woman. I've heard she's been quite successful in her craft. But I must admit, detective, I don't involve myself much in Vaudeville's nightlife. Booking and playing bridge are more up my alley. Who do you play bridge with? Why, with my dear friend, Lady Adelaide, of course. We often meet at her manor for a delightful afternoon of bridge and gossip. Such a refined lady, always dressed to impress. And her manner is simply exquisite. You should see it someday. But I mustn't bore you with our Vaudeville High Society Affairs, Detective. Tell me about your day. Anything exciting happen? Yes, I discovered that you probably are involved in the murders. Murders? Goodness gracious, Detective. Whatever do you mean? I'm just a simple housewife with a passion for cooking and mushroom picking. Surely, you don't suspect me of such heinous crimes. I mean, everyone who went to India is getting murdered. India? Dear me, that's where my late husband Victor passed away. Such a tragic event, really. But murdered, you say? How dreadful. Who could be behind such atrocities? Could your husband have been murdered? Detective, how dare you? Victor's demise was an unfortunate event, indeed. But to insinuate that his death was anything but natural causes is preposterous. I don't appreciate such implications, especially when I'm still grieving his loss every day. 
goodness gracious, really. Grieving his loss in the arms of the Count. Count Graveson. Oh, my dear, you've got it all wrong. Victor and I were deeply in love until the very end. Count Grayson was nothing but a friend and business associate. Charming man, of course, but there was never anything untoward between us. Goodness me, really. Is there anything untoward between you now? Me? Goodness gracious, no. I'm a respectable widow, mourning my late husband and focusing on my hobbies. I do enjoy a good conversation, though. But untoward. Mercy me, no. Hmm. Hmm. Did you know all the murdered people went to India together? H.M., I've heard about a group of businessmen traveling to India, but I wasn't aware that all victims were part of it. That's an interesting connection. Nevertheless, we must be cautious not to jump to conclusions based solely on their shared trip. Mr. Potter died on that trip. Ah, yes, Victor Potter's demise in India. That was quite some time ago, March 14, if memory serves me right. But I fail to see how his death relates to our current cases here in Vaudeville. Keep your focus on the present, detective. All the murdered people were there when he died. Well, that's a peculiar coincidence, but we can't assume it's more than just that unless you have concrete evidence linking Potter's death to these murders. Let's not get sidetracked. Do you know how Victor Potter died? Victor Potter, aged 55, passed away due to an apparent heart attack. However, like the others, further examination is required to confirm this preliminary assessment. He was an investor by profession. He died in India. Yes, that's correct. His body is yet to be brought back to Vordville for an autopsy, though I haven't had the chance to examine him personally. This international aspect certainly adds another dimension to our cases. It's quite unusual for us here in Vordville, but let's focus on what we do know and can control within our city bounds. Could Victor have been murdered? Without more concrete evidence or an actual autopsy, it's purely speculative to say whether Mr. Potter's death in India was due to foul play or not. His reported heart attack could well be the truth, but until I can conduct a thorough examination, we can't rule out any possibilities. His wife said he died of the flu. It seems there's a discrepancy between the reported cause of death and what we know so far. Mrs. Potter mentioned the flu, but according to the information we have, it was suggested as a heart attack. Once we receive the body, I'll be able to provide a definitive answer. Now, getting back to Maria Jansen, who suffered from severe bite marks and a fractured arm bone, indicating a violent end to her life. Her body was discovered on April 15th near the Club Coral. Hmm. Mm. Your husband died of a heart attack, not the flu. Mrs. Potter, her eyes welling up with tears, whispers, is a lie. He died from flu in India. I swear. These false accusations hurt more than you know. She quickly dabs her eyes with a handkerchief and changes the subject. Pointing at the groceries, excuse me, Pascal, I see those cherries are fresh today. I'll take a pound of them. The commoner says it was a heart attack. Mrs. Potter, with a hint of irritation, replies, commoner or not, they clearly misunderstood. My victor succumbed to flu, I assure you. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I must attend to my shopping. Was there an autopsy? Autopsy? I'm afraid I'm not familiar with such medical procedures. But I trust our coroner, Marcella Xeberia, to handle such matters. She's a reputable woman in her field. Now, do you have any news about who might be responsible for these unfortunate incidents? Did your husband have an autopsy? Mrs. Potter, appearing somewhat uncomfortable, murmurs, autopsy on Victor. I wouldn't know. It's not something I'd ask about. His death was painful enough without delving into the details. Now, Pascal, could you show me those rare spices you mentioned earlier? Where is Victor's body? With a solemn sigh, Mrs. Potter answers, Victor was laid to rest in our family's burial grounds, as per our tradition. It's a peaceful place, filled with memories of loved ones. She pauses for a moment before continuing, her voice quivering slightly. I visit his grave often to pay my respects and remember the happy times we shared. Are you an actress? An actress? Heavens, no. Just wondering. I've never had the inclination for such a theatrical profession. I'm more content in the kitchen or wandering through fields picking mushrooms. Acting is best left to ladies like Marina H. Wouldn't you agree? Now about these mushrooms on display. They come from local farms. Did you know Mr. Potter? Interrupting detective, Mr. Potter, rest his soul, wasn't the friendliest sort, always boasting about his wealth. But since his passing, I've noticed a change in Mrs. Potter. She seems happier, livelier, don't you agree? Do you think Mrs. Potter wanted Mr. Potter dead? Well, I wouldn't want to speculate on such matters. There were whispers about their strained relationship. However, it's a big leap from marital troubles to murder. After all, we've had other tragedies too, like poor Haley Greenwood's untimely demise. Life can be so unpredictable. Do you know about the trip to India? India? I'm afraid I don't know much about that, detective. My world revolves around vaudeville and its people. But I do know Mrs. Potter was planning a voyage, could that be it? You mentioned wanting to explore exotic spices and flavors for her culinary pursuits. Quite the adventurer she is. Hmm. Not really finding much more out, am I? I might just go for it. So tell us, Detective Martini, who is the culprit? Hang on, Biagio? I haven't even found you. And I haven't even found you. Wait, there's more people to find. Who is Biagio? Who is Biagio? Biagio Ferrari, a young fellow of 32, is a businessman and investor in our town. Last time I checked, he was still breathing. Now, why do you ask about him? Where can I find Biagio? If you're looking for Mr. Ferrari, he's often seen at the Vaudy Valley Country Club. Oh. But why you're interested Did I not turn in him, around? I can't fathom. Who is Dada? Interrupting Detective Martini, I say, wait, are you talking about Dada, the old hermit woman? She lives secluded from society. Not sure how she's relevant to our investigation. Where can I find her? Dada shack is nestled somewhere in the woods outside of town, but it's not an easy find. You'd best ask around for more specific directions. 
Now, can we return to the matter at hand? Do you know where Dada lives? Oh, Dada. He's an old hermit life somewhere in town. I couldn't tell you exactly where, though. She keeps to herself, mostly. Alright. Oh. <laughs> there he is. What's so funny? Indeed. What can you tell me about the Potters? Mister, Potter and Count Graveson were reported to have had more than one loud discussion. What did they argue about? I'm an experienced investor with a successful track record. I don't help just anyone. I'm investigating murders. I need your help. Come. Why won't you help me? Listen, pal. Help you? I've got better things to do with my time. Do you know Haley Greenwood? Oh, the dead dancer? Yes. Ah, Haley. She was a talented dancer, but she was also a silly girl. She got herself killed because of her own stupidity. How did she get herself killed? She was stupid enough to date that idiot, the late Count Gravesend. Tell me about the relationship. It was a toxic relationship. Count was abusive and possessive, and Haley was blinded by her feelings for him. So who do you think killed Haley? Well, detective, that's a tricky question. As much as I dislike the guy, Count Graveson was already dead when Haley died. Count Graveson isn't dead. Huh? What do you mean? Count Graveson is alive. What? Impossible. How? Count Graveson is alive. That's ridiculous. How is that possible? Tell me about Nicola Grossman. I don't know anything about his death or resurrection. All I know is Haley was stupid enough to get herself killed over a man like him. Nicola? He was different after his trip to India. He was worried, almost paranoid, very silent. What happened in India? I don't know. He didn't tell me anything, but I know things went wrong. Tell me about Maria Janssen. Her? Honestly, a sweet girl. A bit naive and spoiled. Why do you think she died? I don't know, but whatever the reason, it's a damn shame. Now that's interesting. Wait. Do you know where Dada lives? In vaudeville, of course, but I wouldn't know her exact residence. He's a hermit, you see. Do you know where Dada lives? In vaudeville, of course, but beyond that, her guess is as good as mine. He's like a reclusive old owl in the grand tree of this town. Hmm. Do you know where Dada lives? Apologies, but I'm not sure who you're referring to when you say lives. Is it about Michelle Fisher, the successful entrepreneur, or Dada, the reclusive old woman? Both are alive, as far as I know. Or perhaps you're talking about poor Haley Greenwood, who unfortunately is no longer with us. Where is Dada? Dada the Hermit resides in seclusion somewhere in the heart of Vaudeville. Her exact location is as hidden as her mysterious ways. But worry not, she's known to be alive and well, living her solitary life. 
Tell me about Michelle Fisher. Ah, Michelle Fisher, a true force in our town. She's a brilliant businesswoman with a flair for social events. Her parties are the talk of vaudeville, always filled with the most interesting people. She's a patron of the arts too, often seen in the front row of our shows here at the Cabin Violet. But you know, despite her popularity, she keeps her private life guarded. Where is Michelle Fisher? This very moment, Michelle could be preparing for her next grand soiree, or perhaps attending to her business affairs. She's usually quite active around town. Pinpointing her exact location right now would be a bit of a guessing game. Alright, we need to go and... You were in a relationship with Haley. As I mentioned earlier, Haley Greenwood and I were not officially in any romantic relationship. We were friends who appreciated each other's company. Nothing more than that. Now, if you're done with these questions, I could enlighten you about this stunning Persian rug beneath our feet. Did Mrs. Potter know about you and Haley? Mrs. Potter was aware of my friendship with Haley, yes. She and I have discussed various topics, including the people we know. Let's move on to these enchanting Egyptian hieroglyphs etched on this artifact. Hmm. Were you abusive to Haley? Absolutely not. I treated Haley with the utmost respect and kindness. I find such behavior appalling and against my principles. Let's steer our conversation towards this refined piece of Roman pottery, all right. Do you know where Dada is? Dada, you say? Well, she's an old hermit who resides somewhere in Vaudeville, as far as I know. But I can't point you to her exact location. I'm sorry. God damn it. Did you know that Haley and Graveson were in a relationship? That's news to me. I knew they were friends, but a relationship. Well, I suppose people can surprise us. Poor Haley, she was such a lovely dancer. Her death was truly a tragedy. By the way, these truffles go well in Kako Vin. Do you know where Dada lives? Dada, the old hermit woman. He lives somewhere secluded far from the bustling center of Vaudeville. But honestly, I've never paid much attention to her exact whereabouts. Now, these olives look delightful, don't they? Do you know where Dada lives? Dada? Sure, everybody knows Dada. He's the old hermit who lives secluded from the town. But I couldn't tell you exactly where. I respect her privacy. Nobody knows. Do you know where Dada lives? In the heart of her seclusion, that's all I can say. Can you show me on my map? I'm afraid I'm not familiar with maps or addresses. He's just a recluse. That's her home. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a show to prepare for. Do you know where Dada lives? Do you know where Dada lives? Do you know where Dada lives? Fine.
daughter of the 73-year-old hermit is known to reside somewhere in Bordeaux. Despite her advanced age, she remains alive and well, having no recent medical incidents reported. Where exactly is she? I'm afraid I can't provide a specific location, but she's somewhere within our city limits. Now, about the blood-covered woman found near the Club Coral, she was likely our unfortunate Maria Jansen. The anatomical evidence supports this theory. Well, who haven't I asked? Do you know where Dada lives? Dada? Yes, she's a bit of a mystery, living as a hermit. I believe she resides somewhere secluded, but I couldn't tell you exactly where. She's quite old, around 73, if my memory serves me right. But we don't cross paths often. Well... I don't know who knows then. Right, I'm gonna I'm Let's gonna see do what some you got, accusing. Detective Martini. Right, who killed Haley Greenwood? I think it was Mrs. Potter. Interesting choice, Detective Martini. May um, I ask you why? Jealousy. Who killed Maria Janssen? I think... Count Graveson. Are you sure, Detective Martini? But um... Why? To protect someone? Who killed Nicola Grossman? I think that was you. Interesting choice, Detective Martini. May I ask you why? And I think to protect someone. I am not quite convinced of your theories, Detective Martini. No. Well. I don't know who done it. And I guess that's why we're going to leave it. Because I do. <laughs> kind of stuck. So. Let's see. Who's around to raid, shall we? Um No one's really it's a it's a weird game, isn't it? Is anyone playing this? No one's really playing anything similar. No one's playing this. Um, let's go and see. Chloe is dead. Like on some planet coaster. So copy the raid message, paste it when we get there. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you very much to uh, Nay for the raid. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Tomorrow we'll be back in Baldur's Gate 3. Um, with some more Panhorn shenanigans. Um, and then Sunday, who knows? Probably Spirit Pharaoh. Unless Dan pops up wanting to play something. We'll see. But anyway. Yeah, Panhorn tomorrow. Oh, yeah. But until then. Bye-bye.